Hello, I'd like to welcome everybody to this tutorial on creating a Windows media file or media video for your website. And naturally, I like to use Notepad as my um, tool for developing the code. I like to do it by hand. And it makes it a lot easier for you so that you will understand uh, what's going on as the uh, as I'm, I'm as I'm doing this, instead of using a tool such as uh, Dreamweaver or uh, Visual Studio to uh, build the uh, website, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Start, Run, and type in Notepad, and bring up a window here. This window is actually going to be where I'm going to code my uh, web page. So we want to start off with HTML now HTML is not case sensitive okay so let's do a close tag and then in between HTML let's do our head tag let's contain our head and our close tag for our head and in between that we'll have our title so let's do our title and our close tag for our title and let's put in here uh, embedding Windows Media Video. Now the code that I'm going to show you right now could either be a Windows Media Video file or a Windows Media Audio. So it could be either one. Okay, let's kind of straighten this out. Alright, now is our body tag. Our body tag is what's going to contain the body of our web page okay and so if I were to display this right now you would see a blank screen now the first thing that we want to do is create an object tag now the problem that we have right now is I haven't showed you uh, the video now what I've done here is I've created a video that I uh, use for uh, preaching uh, and upload it into my YouTube and it's called be careful how you hear and what I've done is I've put it in Windows Media Player and bring that up real quick and I've converted that into a very small file so I'll show you what I've done here and I'll just hit next so I, I set it up for a video for a pocket PC and you have a lot of other options here that you can choose from and if you look down here you see that the size is 208 by uh, 160 pixels and then what I did once I saved that I dragged it into the file here and then I also uploaded into my server and I'm going to give you the path so you'll be able to see that okay and so basically you have to upload the file onto your server once you get onto your server then you will have a a location on your server that you can code into or HTTP or URL that you can code into uh, your page uh, so as I'm building this or writing this code I wanted you to see that because we're going to address that in a moment okay so what we want to do is put an object tag in here we have our opening and our closing object tag and let's give it an ID let's give it the ID of media player okay and let's give it a width now remember my video was 208 by 160 you have to uh, compensate for the player uh, head or the uh, controls for fast forwarding stopping and so forth so with our width we're going to have it at 208 because that's what we had uh, I saw there and let's make our height we're going to add uh, 160 we're going to add 50 pixels to our player so our player will fit in there so that come out to about uh, 210 alright now our class ID is something that is specific to the Windows Media Player version we're going to use the media player version uh, uh, 6.4 control uh, and that's 
if you ever look in your registry for your uh, Windows XP you'll see things like this okay I'm gonna go ahead and paste it I'm not gonna uh, type the whole thing because I have this already written out okay and this is the class ID for this particular Windows media player okay and let's put a standby in so that way if it takes a long time for the video to load uh, we send a message back to the people who have clicked on our video on our website Oop, spelled that wrong okay and let's give it a type and the type that we have is that it's an and you have to have this app location slash x only object okay you don't want to miss that and you also want to have your code base in there as well okay now you don't have to have all this code in here there's another way that you can do this but what this does is that this prevents people from uh, using older players or um, it, it, using a specific player it keeps them right right there so if they don't have the player then it won't play okay the next thing now what I've done is this is the open tag and the close tag for this okay now in between the object tag we're gonna have our parameters here and what I'm gonna do is paste the parameters and discuss those parameters to you okay the first parameters I'm going to paste in there for my code is the auto start. You're telling your video to start when it first loads, and then you're giving it a uh, another parameter called name, and this is the value or the path where my video is located. Okay, and let's add some more and this is the embed now I've been able to get video to play successfully just by putting this embed tag in there but I don't recommend that you do that okay so the type here we go with application it's an ActiveX control called media player 2 and this is the path again just like up here to my video and we got the same height and width that's the width and the height that we have up top here okay one is for the video player one is for the video itself okay and naturally here's our tags here All right, and we're done with this so when I save this I want to save this as oh let's put it on our desktop index dot ht htm okay save it if I move this I'm gonna just drop it down minimize it and unfortunately I can't get to it because this is in the way let's move that up okay alright so when I open this up I'm gonna bring my browser over here so you'll actually see it this over a little and launch this and there it is okay and you may be able to hear it not certain okay and you can use the scrub here to scroll across your video you can re stop it fast forward stop it play it it's pretty neat huh so you can do the same thing with your audio files and all you will need to do is just have the player visible so you can name it whatever size you want uh, in terms of the height and uh, any width you would like okay and so if you do have a video and you just want the audio to play then just resize the uh, player to just only show and that way your video is hidden and that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed this, please leave comments 
and I will respond to your comments and go ahead and rate this video. Thank you.